anniversary, sweetie. Do you need any help? No, uh, I still got these two fingers working. I still don't understand how you did that with a pencil sharpener. <laughs> it was an electric pencil sharpener. Those things have torque. Hey, it's a wallet. And there's a lottery ticket in here. Hey, it's already scratched. Sorry you didn't win. Well, that's a time saver. What did you get me? Okay, well, I put a lot of thought into your present this year. Love coupons? It's romantic. Good for one shoulder rub. But I already get shoulder rubs. But now you can have one whenever you like. You don't like rubbing my shoulders? I love rubbing your shoulders. Then this is kind of a gift for you. You said no appliances. Well, I meant don't get me another iron. Don't go buy something for yourself. I already get for free. Happy anniversary! H is for happiness. A is for anniversary. P is for the pair of you. P is for the... Here you are. Millie. Why is for the yogurt every morning? All right, great. That was a fantastic song. Thank you. I'll just jump to it. This is for you. Holy crap. It's a trip for two to Europe. Oh, my God, Millie, this is fantastic. Read the card. And then, a week in Tuscany. I've always wanted to go. And a tour of the Grecian Islands. We can't accept this. Why not? Yeah, why not? Because it's inappropriate. It's more appropriate than getting your wife an anniversary gift. You didn't even spell check. What's a foot message? Here, you can also have a back rib. Those, those coupons are non-transferable. <laughs> Rumpled a bong? Damn hippies. Hey, candy pie. You got Millie's fan mail sorted? Sorted? I was just gonna give it to her. No, never just give Millie a big bag of mail. As a rule, never just give her a big bag of anything. I don't have time for that, the way the phone's been ringing off the hook. Ring, damn it. Taylor, I need you in my office right away. Whoa, Joyce. Give you a minute to freshen up. Just get in here. All right. Uh, better hold her calls. So, how do you want to start? Should I dim the lights or... Oh, get back to reality. There is a head shop downtown selling bootleg grump bongs. Well, that's outrageous. They can't be ripping off our authentic Grumpaloo bongs. There are no authentic Grumpaloo bongs. The Grumpaloos are kids' books. They do not belong on drug paraphernalia. Getting legal on the phone. No lawyers. I do not want Millie finding out about this. She'll overreact. Remember when she zapped that litter bug with her taser? I wasn't littering. I was trying to hit the trash can. Well, you never littered since. <laughs> okay, first of all... Oh, great, a list. Let me grab a pen. Okay, shoot. I uh, wanted to thank you for the anniversary gift. You're welcome. Number two. I just, I feel that a gift that extravagant is maybe a bit inappropriate. It's like if you bought a sailboat for your dentist. Ugh, Drobo Baggins? I don't think so. If you're going to get us something, it, it should be something smaller. Like a helper chimp? No. They're helpful. No animals. A hybrid car? Too expensive. A hybrid helper chimp? You, you gotta keep it simple. And, and within the parabola of our, you know, professional situation. Got it. No more expensive gifts for me. A letter from your parents. Dear son, it's me, your parents. Since we're your parents and you're my son, and we are in no way in a professional situation, I thought you would enjoy this trip to Europe. 
Have fun, your parents. Oh, this is fantastic. Yeah, so was Stargate Atlantis. That doesn't mean it happened. This is Millie. You're just being paranoid. It's written on Grumpaloo stationery. I don't even think my dad owns a glitter pen. Oh, greetings. Welcome to Buzznuts. I'm wondering about that device in the window with a little design on it. The grumpy dude bong. You show fine taste, my lady. It's one of a kind. You don't have any others? Oh, sadly, no. But I do have a full supply of Wacky Jack papers. Thanks, Ziggy, but just a bong. A one of a kind, right? Like a snowflake. How's that fan mail coming? Well, I've broken it down to three categories. Love, hate, and crazy. But I can't figure out where to put this one. It just reads like a lonely, desperate plea from some single mother. Ooh. I'll handle that one. Is there a picture? Well, I bought the bong. You bought a bong? And the good news is, it's one of a kind. So, problem solved. Now I just gotta get the smell of patchouli off me. You bought a bong. I'll tell Millie. No! Remember? Taser? Right. You bought a bong. Morning, honey. I, uh, I got up early, thought I'd make you some breakfast. <laughs> I know it's no trip to Europe. Got that right. I thought maybe later we could go for a walk. And, uh, and then we could go see that movie you've been talking about. I guess we can, since I have nowhere else to go for the next six weeks. You know, my finely honed intuition is telling me... Hey, Doc. I got you guys another anniversary present. But don't worry, because this one is way more appropriate, but just as awesome. Millie, I don't want you spending a bunch... Wait to see what it is before you poop on it and send it back. Ta-da! Aren't they great? <coughs> the sizes seem a little off. That's because that's hers. Isn't hers hers? No, yours is hers because you're hers. Hers is his because she's yours. I mean, I guess yours could be his and hers hers because you're your own people, right? But that's what's so great about these hats is that they work on so many different levels. Plus, they're adjustable. Well, thank you, Millie. That is very sweet. She doesn't seem to be enjoying her hat as much as you and I. No, I think she's enjoying it about the same amount. Uh, snowflake my ass. Hey, let me in. I want that bomb. This neighborhood's gone to hell. Listen, I, I know you're disappointed about the holiday, so I talked to Millie and decided to take you on a European tour. <laughs> oh, my good Europe? I can't believe it. Mmm. -hmm. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I love you, I love you, I love you. Well, I, I, I didn't actually finish. Um, Jesus isn't going to sound as good now. A European tour of the city. Guten Tag! We begin our guided tour with breakfast in Old Holland. Welcome to the Swiss Alps. I hope you enjoy our cheese. Ricola! Ah, oh, romantic Venezia, where the streets are paved with water. Aren't you coming with us? Oh! Oh! Hold on to this rope! Ah! I should have tied that to something! Welcome to Little Athens, home of Plato, Socrates, Aristotle, and Kevin. What's up? Aren't you finished yet? This isn't as easy as it looks. 
I've had to start subdividing all the categories. Love is now divided into appreciation, adoration, and obsession. Shouldn't obsession go in your crazy pile? <sighs> it's not just crazy anymore. It's now harmless nut, distant threat, and disturbing pictures. Then I've got this one that reads like adulation, but it's made with letters cut out from a magazine. Mm. I'm gonna have to start another pile. And that is why we don't give them all to Millie. Well, the hippie lied. I saw another bong in the window. Who knows how many there are? You bought another bong. Does no one else think this is weird? We obviously can't trust these people. These people? Joyce? Really? <laughs> what have you got against hippies? Mom, Dad, would you turn that crap down? I'm trying to study. Hey! Come on down, man! It's Jake Wilmar's birthday! So, should I call our lawyer? No, I will deal with this Che Guevara loving hippie myself. Why don't I come along? We can get some tie-dyed shirts, some Rasta wigs. Go deep undercover. No, you stay here and help Crystal. Why do I have to stay here? Why does he have to stay here? Okay, you can come, but no talking. All right, man. Especially not like that. Faded to meet again. I see you have another Grumpaloo bong in the window. That keen eye. You told me the bong I bought was one of a kind. All my bongs are one of a kind. Each piece is handcrafted by the world's finest bong blowers. All right, listen up, hippie. I hate to kill your buzz, but what you have here is pirated merchandise. We were willing to overlook the first offense because you're a dirty hippie, but obviously you have no respect for copyright law. I resent those accusations. Now, are you two gonna buy something? Because it's almost 2 o'clock and I need to close up shop. We're not going anywhere. I should probably plug the meter then. Can you make change? I'm sorry. I do not know how to play this thing. I think I'd like to go home, Stan. But we're gonna go to Ireland next. I was gonna drink a Guinness and get into a fight. I appreciate the effort. But now, I just really wanna go to Europe. The real Europe, in case you're planning any more surprises. Ah, you can't leave now, lassie. We're just about to toss the cable. Oh, screw this country. Oh. Listen, everything's cool. No, my lord, everything's not cool. It's the opposite of cool. Tepid? Well, well, well. Look what I found. And you say this is made of hemp? Because it breathes like a dream. Oh, and Joyce, there's a shelf full of grump blue bongs back there. Taylor, let's go. Grab those boxes. We're gonna confiscate these goods. Hey, wait, you can't do that. Freeze, hippie. That's breath freshener. And I'm not afraid to use it. All right, get a hammer. We're gonna destroy these. Really? Oh, this little one's kind of cute. It could be a, a gravy boat or a, I don't know, a wine decanter. More bongs? Okay, should I be worried? We're busy here. What do you need? There's two guys here to see you. One says he's a lawyer and the other could use a bath. So, come to settle? My client is filing suit against Haddison House Publishing and personally against Joyce Haddison. What's your name? Taylor. Rhymes. And Taylor Rhymes. Uh, damn it. Oh, really? We have documents that prove Ms. Upton gave him permission to use this image. That does look like Millie's signature. Hold this, I gotta pee like a race truck. Hey, that's a grumpy dude lady. She'll tell you. Millie, did you give this guy permission to use one of your drawings? Absolutely not. Hey, you're the bong guy. Yeah. Hey, yeah. Anna, I think I figured out a way for us to go to Europe. You don't have to. No, listen to this. For a decent price, we could get a three-day European vacation. Now, granted, two of those days are traveling to and from the Lithuanian airport, but if we make all our bus connections and we don't sleep... Stan, stop. I was disappointed, 
But I also realize it's important that you stand by your principles. So you're really okay with us not going to Europe? No, I'm not okay with it. It's eating me up inside like an angry dog chewing on my stomach. I'm just saying I respect you. Good to know where we stand. How did this happen? I met him at a book signing. Your grumpy blue books are awesome. <laughs> totally subversive and anti-establishment. Your hair looks like a bale of hay. How do you get it like that? Never wash it. Oh, that sounds easy. Here you go. You are officially a grumpaloo. Hey, that's me, far out. Can I put him on my bong? Put this little fella on all your bongs. Your friend, Millie Upton. But Millie, on his bongs? You guys have got to loosen up. I mean, the kids just want to have fun. No, girls just want to have fun. The kids are all right. Either way, they love their bongs. Are we talking about the same thing? Yeah. You know, the bong and the paddle and ball. You know, bongada, 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 bongada. No, 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 no. You're, you're confused. Yeah, you're way off. Goes fibra, 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 fibra. No, it's not. It's twinky, 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 that is a bong, and it's used for smoking pot. <clears throat> and for the record, a paddle ball goes gading, 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 gading. I'm sorry I can't take you to Europe right now, but here. Is that the pickle jar? Was the pickle jar. Now, it's our dream jar. What happened to the pickles? I threw those out. That was nine dollars worth of pickles. How much change did you put in? Fifty-two cents. Hmm. So by next year, we should have enough to buy more pickles. Probably. Okay, here's the deal. No bongs, but you can use your character for t-shirts. No deal. We have a signed contract. So unless Millie Upton is declared insane or mentally incompetent... Why won't this song bag sing? <laughs> oh, there's a French fry stuck in it. Must have been when I was in Belgium earlier this morning. It's okay. Okay. T-shirts it is. Done. Okay. I'm off to work. Whoa, what's your rush? Why don't you stick around, relax a bit? Oh, well, now who could that be? H is for the happiness. What she's trying to say is that we've talked and I've agreed to let her give us a holiday to Europe. The, the real Europe across the uh, ocean. But what about it being inappropriate? The trip is going to be her gift to us spread out over the next 25 years. You've amortized our anniversary? That is so romantic. Yep, the way I see it. You're stuck with me now for at least the next quarter century. S is for the sandwich that you made me! And you know where I'm going to keep these tickets? In the snazzy new wallet my wife gave me. Very nice. And what did you get her? Oh, not much. Just a trip to Europe. Mm, no, that was from Millie. Oh, yeah. Well, I got you the... Did I buy the hats? That was Millie, too. Okay, it's finally done. I've narrowed it down to hate mail, fan mail, crazy mail, crazy fan mail, crazy hate mail, fanatical, foreign language, wrong address, illegible, and some nice letters from kids. Okay. Give these to Millie. Give these back to Mother Earth. Well, good news. I went by Buzz Nuts, and there's no more bongs in the window. Oh, good. Now, are you sure you're not worried about him selling these shirts? Because they are really 
comfortable. It's just one local head shop. So he sells some idiot a couple shirts. Are you hungry? You passed a couple of cafes back there. Those aren't the kind of cafes you're thinking of. Look! A grumble of flower vase. Oh, Anna, that's not a vase. That's one of those upright pasta cookers. Let's get one for Millie. Maybe one for Joyce, too. Little Missy Grumpaloo wanted to buy a very special present for two of her very special friends. She thought real hard, but didn't know what to get them. So she decided to get them one of everything in the Grumpaloo store. Her friend said, Oh, Missy, you shouldn't buy us so many presents. It makes us feel embarrassed. Missy didn't want to make her friends feel bad, so she took back all the presents and exchanged them for some super wonderful hats. But her friends didn't seem to like those very much either. So Missy she gave them some money and said, go buy whatever you think might make you happy and leave me out of it, because some people are hard to please.